Hello guys, I'm Bob and you're watching Tech Talk. Hello everyone, this is the third part of my video how to build a budget gaming computer in 2020 for 110 euros. In this part I will show you how to prepare the computer for gaming. We will install the graphic drivers through GeForce Experience. We will also need a DirectX which we will install from Microsoft official website. And last but not least we will need a statistic program so we can check our temps, frame rates and usage. And for this job we will download MSI Afterburner and I will show you how to set everything up. When we are all set up I will show you a gameplay from Borderlands 3 and GTA 5 so we can really see how this guy performs in real life gaming. So put on your seat belts let's go so now we want to install our direct x which we will need if you want to play every kind of game almost every kind and just look into being here we need this end user runtime web installer we have english language we just download it Run it. Yep. We get set. Next, we don't need the link bar. Good. Now that we have our DirectX installed, we still want to reset the computer one more time. To make sure that everything is working fine. As you can see for an old PC, it's actually booting pretty fast. Now we need a program for statistics to look up the temperatures, the usage. And for this I use always the MSI Afterburner with the Riva Tuner. We just look for it. Here we have the MSI Afterburner official page. So here we have, we need the MSI Afterburner version, we need the regular one, not the beta. So this is the installation from MSI Afterburner, we use English, we click next, we will accept, here we have the Riva Tuner which we will need for the statistics, so we need both programs, installed, next, 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 so now this is the second installer, which is for the Riva Tuner, we still use English, click OK, Next, I do set the terms of the difference. Yes, next, next, install.
So now we want to run first the MSI afterburner. So it's very important. Now we must go into the settings. We must go on the general properties, click start with Windows, start minimize, and here into monitoring we want to see our GPU temperature, show on screen display, GPU usage, show also, we want to see our memory usage, we need our CPU temperature, also the CPU usage, we can look at the CPU clock as well, our RAM usage, and our firmware. So I just click it here because it's not activated. And after this, we must show it on screen display. Click apply. Okay. We can minimize it. Now we need to start the Riva tuner. No, we don't need this. So, Riva tuner. Yes. It always starts minimized. But we need to go there with double click and choose start with windows so that both programs are working together on each restart or startup so now we do one more reboot to make sure that everything works well and we can see how it goes so guys i also installed the geforce experience I strongly recommend for you also to install it because Windows did not install all the drivers that we need. Here, here was also a newer version from the drivers and you can see it lists everything that we have in a moment. I have Borderlands 3 and GTI 5 to test it.
So as you can see, in GTI 5, it was performing really good. Almost all the time, the frames were around 80s to 90s. That means that if you want, we can play with the settings so that we will still have our 60 frames, but with better looks. So let's start now Borderlands 3, which is a more demanding game from 2019 and see how it's going to handle it. This is your stop, Vault Hunter. No time? Let's have some fun! Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> And welcome to Pandora! Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? Zane. Zane Flint. Thanks. I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who follow their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an Echo device. The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your Echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I... Uh, a user agreement? Boring. Don't worry, Corp. The propaganda center is this way. <laughs> a locked gate? No, this can't be happening. The entire mission is ruined. Face the clap trap. It's powerful, and people always do what you tell them to. That's it! Recruit, get that gate open! That's an order from your superior officer! You did it! Best recruit ever! The propaganda center is up ahead! Those cultists have been killing Crips and Raiders left and right! They totally suck skag balls! But I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time. 
mission, Lilith has to promote me to Super General. Stand back! Great. I'm sure there's some people on the moon who didn't hear that. Relax. On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit. You're gonna need it. These guns, like myself, aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing! And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out. Follow me, recruit. Wait here. I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood. Watch and learn, recruit. Hello? Anyone there? This is Shen! All the influencer of the children of the vault! What do you want, Crambot? Hello, bloodthirsty maniac! It is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders! We have you completely surrounded! Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. themselves children of the vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Grandpa. That's what I thought. Open the doors immediately for your new king. Easy, easy. I'm, uh, I'm coming out. Just wait right there. We did it. I did it. Another victory for the Crimson Raiders! Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to me? I know Claptrap can be a little Claptrap, but he's still one of us. You're gonna have to save him. I'll be there soon.
Captured in the saga. Fell all things told. My kind of maniac. Score one for the Crimson Raiders. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. Recruit? Are you dead? If not, get me down! The controls are on the second floor! Cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this'll have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? I'm Zane, and you're the lady from my brain. Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. I might not have the numbers, but a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. A little extra boom never hurt anyone. Except me targets. All right. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? More COV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's 
Borderlands 3 didn't run as smooth as GTA 5, but we must consider that it's a more demanding game and is from 2019. I still was very impressed of how it handled it because we didn't have any frame drops below the 30s and the game was actually pretty playable. It did manage the games, they were pretty smooth, of course you don't have the highest graphics, but it's a normal computer for like 110 euros. If you need more than 60 frames with maximum settings, you have to give around 1000 euros and maybe still then you have some struggles with resolutions more than full HD. So guys, thank you for watching, stay safe and see you around.